Hi everybody, I wanted to go over a really brief lesson on how to use function notation when all you have is a graph. So you want to remember that uh, the graph of a of a function or relation is just the plot of the ordered pairs uh, that make the function true. So um, for example when I look at this graph right here uh, I see that the ordered pair negative 1, 1 is on that graph and so that means that that uh, if since this is a graph I've described by the letter H, that means that H of negative one is equal to one. Okay, so um, <clears throat> when it comes over here and I say, hey, what's H of negative one? That's saying, tell me the output, tell me the y value for this particular function right here when the input's negative one. So if the x value is negative one, you can see from the graph that the output, the y value is one. So H of negative one is one. Likewise, h of 0 is saying, hey, tell me the, the output, the y value, when the input or x value is 0. So at x equals 0, you can see that this is the ordered pair 0, 2. So that means that, that h of 0 has to equal 2. Or h of 2, well, that's going to be 0. You can see that. h of negative 2, oh, look, there's no, there's no graph over It's not defined there. So h of negative 2 would be undefined. So that would be sort of like trying to divide by zero or taking square roots of negative numbers. So it's not defined, uh, this particular function is not defined over here. You can also see from the domain right here, the domain are all of these x values right here. Um, there are every one of these x values between negative one and what is that, four? Um, so the domain is going to be from negative one to four. And then the range values are just uh, these guys right here. Look at the, the only y values that are hit are here between negative 1 up to 2. If I, if I think, hey, it's negative 2 in the range, there's no graph. There's no place that uh, has negative 2. There's no ordered pair that has negative 2 there. So, so you can see just by looking at it, the range is going to be <clears throat> from minus 1 up to 2. Okay. Um, <clears throat> another question is for what values of x does h equal negative one? Well, um, this is saying okay, the the output's negative one, so I, I want to look at the y value negative one. You can see right here, this is ordered pair one, two, three, negative one, and so the x value of three has an output of negative one. Um, where h is 1 up here, you can see there's actually two values, isn't there? Over here at 1, the output's 1, and over at negative 1, it's 1. And then what are the zeros of h? Well, the zeros are where the function value is 0, so that's just the same thing of you know, saying, you know, where is h equal to 0? And you can see that those are going to be these values here at 2 and 4. Okay, so that's a, a little brief lesson on how you use function notation when, when all you have is a graph.